All right, brief video here just to explain what you're about to see. So the two rounds that I'm about to film hit me in the belly. One of them broke in half, the other one barely broke. It like chipped a little hole out of it. So you'll see why the cloud dispersion of the chemicals wasn't really there. As stated in the prior video, I think if I had taken a shot to the chest, it would have been a very different experience in terms of chemical dispersion. And at some point, I feel like to get a better idea um, of what the ammo is capable of, I should probably take one. Um, I just, I don't want to get hit right here. It's too close to here and here. <laughs> um, but I was talking to one of the fellows that was um, one of the designers of this ammo, and he said that they really did design it with the intention of being shot at 38 joules for the gavel. And um, and I would that that's one of the things I said last night in the aftermath is that if I wanted to be really confident that it would create that cloud, I'd want to be at about a time and a half of where I was power wise. I was around 26, 28 joules. We want to be around 38 to 40, I think. Um, and I'm not willing to take one of those shots. Not, I'm not taking a 38 joule shot. <laughs> not, not after what last night's 28 joule shot felt like. Now, that being said, I'm also going to show uh, 24 hours later the aftermath of the wound. Um, it's more the bruising around the strike that, that surprised me. Uh, it doesn't look anywhere near as bad as Jeff McKay's did when he took that solid projectile at 28. Um, and you can even see on the two, you know, circular marks where I was hit, it's pretty easy to tell which one broke and which one didn't. Um, so yeah, interesting stuff. M more to come on all this. Here are our kinetic rounds after firing. That one broke entirely, but as you can see, there's still a ton of powder in there, right? The bulk of the powder remained in there. This one barely even broke. So all the powder's still in there. That's why the powder didn't affect me.